Known as the City of Peace, the Norwegian capital of Oslo has been the host of the Nobel Peace Prize for more than a century. The people of Oslo recently showed the world that peace and compassion is possible in spite of the violence that one endures in life. Today, it serves once again as the voice of a call for a violence-free and prejudice-free society. This talk is a call for a prejudice-free, violence-free society. And it's really appropriate and really important that Norwegians can experience this, experience uh, Shri Shri's grace uh, in a dire time like this. It's a very important meeting because what has happened in Norway, it's, it's a big historic event, you know. And now the whole people has come together really and showed so much compassion and togetherness. And we really need to see what we can do going forward and we need some vision, some, some ideas of w what can keep that values for the future. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar visited Oslo to reinforce and echo Mahatma Gandhi's message of non-violence. What better place than Norway, known for its humanity, for Sri Sri to spread this message? It's so nice to see you in Oslo. I wish uh, you were here when we were as peaceful as we want to be. But uh, even though we have a big tragedy, it's very nice to see you here. And this is what is needed today. We need to create a field of love, field of energy that can uplift the humanity. And we don't need to wait for a disaster to happen. When disasters happen, this definitely happens. Haven't we seen this here in Oslo? After this disaster, what happened? Everyone came to the streets. Everyone walked with the rose, expressed their true feelings. It's not just a courtesy, but it is the feeling that came out from that. Genuine sympathy, genuine sense of sharing. So what can we do to enhance the sense of belongingness? This is what we need to ponder on. We don't need any more disaster in the world. It is time now that we encourage our youths, our children, to see beyond their own identity. You know, whether you are a Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, doesn't matter. See beyond your identity, you are a beautiful, beautiful human being. This awareness we need to bring to our youths. Don't you agree with me? How many of you agree with me? I think the, the uh, uh, energy created by the group meditation is very, um, it has an effect on the whole community and the, uh, it's a healing for the Norwegian community after the tragedy. Sri Sri is an exceptional human being and, uh, and an inspiration for others and uh, that I think is very important to inspire each other to grow and to always reach higher, do better and be nicer. I think that what has happened now is the most important event after 22nd of July. To be together with the master, Shri Shri, as I would say it, uh, I think that have been magical for everyone and so important to have this energy of love flowing still in our way because there is so much needing for love. People want to feel the love. This is just what it has released. So uh, I'm honored to be a part of this. <laughs>